video we will see about the tests which are done at the site for the solid concrete block let us see normally the blocks are used for construction of load bearing walls partition walls and compound walls etc concrete blocks are made by using a m10 concrete these concrete blocks are comes in various sizes for example 400 mm length 200 mm width 200 mm depth again width varies here 150 mm and rest of all same and again width varies here that is 100 mm rest of all same the blocks whatever the sizes we can we can be made It is very important to check the quality of the blocks what are the checks to be done for the blocks let us see one by one first one it should be as per the approved supplier we have to check whether it is from the approved supplier or not second one that is we have to check the delivery channel in that delivery channel it should be clear that PO and work order number should be matched site name supplier name security entry these things we have to check while receiving the delivery channel while signing the delivery channel and third one we have to ensure that while un unloading there should not be any damages to the blocks if there is any damages to the blocks then we have to deduct those blocks from the supplier and fourth one it is very important we have to check the dimensions of the blocks the tolerance for the blocks that is the in length plus or minus 5 mm width and height that is plus or minus 3 mm picture shows that dimension checking image fifth one the blocks should be free from the honeycombs there should not be any kind of honeycombs Sixth one, the edges should be sharp and broken blocks are not allowed. If we use the broken blocks, it increases the mortar thickness and increases the chance of cracks in the block work and plaster also. The seventh one, we have to check the weight of the block. Eighth, check the density of the block. The density of the block is found by using the formula weight of the block divided by volume of the block it should be minimum 1800 kg per meter cube ninth we have to check the water absorption it is carried out for 24 hours we have to check the initial dry weight and after that it is keeping in 24 hours water and we have to check the again weight the water absorption formula is that wet weight after 24 hours minus dry weight divided by dry weight into 100 the water absorption should be within 10 percentage and uh, finally we have to check uh, compressive strength of the block this is a ctm machine as we know the compressive strength equal to load by area it should be minimum 4 newton per mm square as per the IS 2185 part 1 2005 thanks for watching the video if you like please subscribe for the channel thank you